2014 Telstra Western Australian Business of the Year is Monford Group. Not another speech. <laughs> um, once again, thank you. <laughs> um, I suppose I've, in the last speech, I um, forgot to thank two very important people, and that's my parents. I came from a family in Ireland, and we didn't have much money. And when we grew up, we, I'm one of seven kids, so typical Irish family, big one. <laughs> um, and me, I know my mother, she worked a full-time job as well as had seven kids, and my father worked two jobs to support us. So I just want to say they're not here, obviously, tonight, but thanks to them. I learned the hard work ethic from them. I didn't lick it up off the side of the road or anything. It was, <laughs> it's genetic. <laughs> it's bred in. <laughs> and um, so I just want to say thanks to them. And I, don't, I, just, I just want to touch on one thing that Brad here, I'm kind of plagiarizing Brad's speech here as I, as I go. <laughs> um, as he said earlier on in the night about, and the day about setting goals. Um, for any budding entrepreneur out there, just set your goals and, and, and aim for them. And, and do what you get and don't let anybody tell you different. When I started the business first, I was green as grass, hadn't a clue about business, especially in Australia. I didn't even know what superannuation was when I got here. And I had to pay 30 people this superannuation thing. So <laughs> I didn't know what it was. But um, just, I set myself a goal, I wrote a business plan, and inside the business plan I said, in five years I want to turn over $50 million. And I didn't know how to do it or how to get there or where to start. And I employed a consultants, business consultants and things to help me. And the first thing he did is he looked through the plan, he said it was an excellent plan, very detailed, but of a problem with the figures you've aimed, he said you need to be realistic, sacked them straight away. So <laughs> he was gone. So you have to just believe in yourself and your goals, and that's all I can say. But um, once again, thanks very much for a great night, and thanks for the award. Cheers. I think I just want to just note that Declan's pretty humble and I see the behind the scenes and in the business I see him at home and I've never met anyone like him. He just never stops and literally, you know, he wakes up and he goes, right, this is what we're going to do and I, it's never a dull moment in our lives. <laughs> and, but I, he really, look, we have a great team and we've, we've got everything but it really comes down to a really great boss and you know he gets in and he, he's pouring concrete with the boys he doesn't care what he does as long as he's doing something um, he once said to me very early on in the age he goes look if I if I didn't work then I'd be an alcoholic because I'd just get bored and it, it kind of would be true so he really needs to just work his ass off and I'm happy with that but, um, yeah, he, 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 you know, he should be very proud. I'm proud of him. I'm honoured to be his partner and to be on this ride because it's been crazy but really, really good.